So the reason why Help Age International decided to do this research was because earlier on in 2021-2022, we conducted a similar study, but with a focus on the urban sub-counties of Nairobi, which was Dagoreti North, Dagoreti South, and Kibera. <coughs> then we realized this information only gave us the issues that older persons face, but from an urban perspective, which then led us to wanting to know more about these same issues, but from a rural perspective. And therefore, we decided to focus on these four counties to get the Nyaza perspective, to get the central perspective, as well as the coastal perspective. We noted uh, an intersection between the access to social protection and access to health by the older people. And we actually also realized that quite a number of older people who are above 70 years old were not even receiving Inua Jami at the time of the study. But it is important to note that uh, as of last year, the president actually gave a directive to the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection to increase the number of the beneficiaries of Inua Jami. And this has happened. And let's see how the data in CIA will turn out. Also, something else we noted from the data in the urban setup was that most of the older people actually facing financial abuse related to the Inua Jami program. For instance, like uh, when they receive the money, some of the money is taken away from them by the family members and the caregivers. So those issues of violence, abuse against the older people are some of the key factors that we'll also be checking in Siaya County as well as the other three counties. Inua Jami has got issues. Some of them have been reported, some of them haven't been. So we really want to get down and establish what are the challenges from the older persons themselves. When it comes to pension, you realize that some of the retirees take too long to have their pensions dispersed. And that is the time their, their income had been stopped from the salaries they were receiving. So that gap exposes them to high levels of poverty. In addition to many other challenges that they may have, I think this is an opportunity that we want to document what is there as a challenge and recommendations. I participated, I've been participating in the previous censuses from 1999. Therefore, I know the growth rate, the, the number of older persons in the entire country is increasing. And this is not only in <coughs> it is everywhere. A number of issues affect older persons. And the first one, when we did a study in Nairobi, only 4%, 4 out of every 100 older persons received any pension, irrespective of whether they receive it monthly or lump sum and so on. So only 4 out of every 100. So you can see the plight of the older persons. Two, a lot of studies show that uh, many older persons are actually living alone. Sometimes it, it, even they may have the money, but even the energy to go and buy food and so on becomes a problem. Getting water, not every household in, in this part of the country have water in the compound, so they have to fetch it elsewhere to bring it. As you grow older, you don't have the energy and the strength to carry, to fetch water. You don't have the energy and the strength to go and buy food from the bucket. We don't have fridges, so we rely on buying whatever we can live on daily. 